Hello guys and welcome back to the Gates Head career mode. As you know we're out of all the cups now so we're just kind of running to the end of the season and see what happens. Uh, I'll show you how we're doing soon but as you can see I've requested to improve the training facilities just because I thought we might as well get a uh, better training facility. So they've took 100k out of our bank which is quite good because we had a few uh, selling of players. Um, Greg Oli being sold and uh, Charlie Oliver being sold as well. Help fund that. Uh, which is good. Uh, I'll show you how we've been doing before I show you the Scunthorpe game. So I last showed you the Blackpool game, which went okay, but, you know, if, if that's the third time we played in the season. We better not have to play them again, which I'm sure we won't do. Um, but we've been, we've been okay. A few losses there. Exeter and Barnet were a bit of a ball ache, but other than that, we've been okay. It's kept us in fifth position, which is very good for a team that have just come up from non-league. Um, Scunthorpe, who we're playing today, are in seventh. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and that we're against Yeovil after that, who are just below them. So it's a, really a battle, the, these two games, of how where we end up after by the end of the season, which is still quite a while left, I'll be honest. Uh, but I'll probably take you to the last two games of the season, to be honest, and see where we end up, because what's, <laughs> what's the point in waiting? So let's get straight on to it. Uh, I'll show you the team that we've got out today. We've got... Uh, Klein, Heider, Patterson, Lacey, Darman, Preston, Whelan, Zibbert, Galantes, Robertson, Hay and Agahatsi. Uh, we've had a few uh, few loanees brought in. Uh, Carrick Hill as a centre-back, just as some backup. And another striker called Taylor Reagan from Leeds. Um, so hopefully there'll be some nice backup players. Um, Campbell's back, but... Apparently, Kleinheide is actually better than him. So, we'll play Kleinheide for now. Um, no, I don't want him to do that. Uh, seeing as it's only for this this season, we might as well give him 8 and 7. Screw it. Right, let's get on with the game and see how we get on. Uh, fingers crossed we get some points here. Um, we could do with beating these lot, really. I don't really want to go up this season, but getting to the playoffs will be a very good feat. Um so I'll take that to be fair. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, half getting to half time now. We've only had one shot. No shots have been on target yet. But Scunthorpe have managed to get through, and they've absolutely played through our defence there. Just a massive gap in the middle. Kleinheider had really no chance. He had no support from his uh, defenders there. So it's one nil to Scunthorpe at half time, which isn't great. Uh, three and a half thousand people here, and we go down two nil. That's not very good at all as I scratch my beard in anticipation. That's not been very good. We're going to have to get our first uh, substitutions on soon. We're playing a very good team, to be fair. Galantes gets a chance but goes straight to the goalkeeper. As Scunthorpe are through again, absolutely no marking whatsoever from us there. Gets right through the middle and I'm not happy with this at all as we take another shot which goes way over the bar. We've got a corner apparently which they're going to take. Galantes still puts it wide. This has been an absolute bloody nightmare of a shit show. What on earth is going on? Right, let's have a look at the condition of the players. See how we get on. See, we're not tired at all. Zibbert, who's probably been our best player this season, um, is coming off for Greenfield, seeing as they haven't really done anything at all. Finally, Kleinheider makes a bloody save. Um, Campbell probably in the next game. Uh, after this guy has... Missed. We'll put bring Reagan on for his first appearance of the season, um, and we also need another player on. Rob uh, Thompson can come on on the wing, and we will take that. I might play two up top. To be fair, we'll see how that goes. I generally don't doesn't feel like we're going to score. Even if we score now, it's too late. Yeah, that's it. We're not scoring this game. Three nil loss against Scunthorpe United. That's embarrassing. Oh, shit, Alex Lacey's just been sent off. Ah, fuck it, we'll go right to the end. What What can you do? We've done all the subs. I knew we weren't going to score as well. Well, that has been an utter, utter crap show. The only player getting an 8 rated is Nathan Pattinson. That's been a horrendous game. And I think we'll bring on Campbell to play for the next game. So I'll take you to the uh, Yeovil game. I will be right back. So welcome back. This is the team we're going with um, in the next game against Yeovil with. Uh, we've got Campbell, Stanisic, Hill, McLaughlin, Suleiman, 
Zibber Scheller is playing in the middle. Just change that. Galantes Thompson McCarron, who's a new player actually, I forgot to tell you him. He's an unattached player, and Preston is up top. Play him as a target man because he always was back when he used to bang goals in for fun. Uh, so we'll just quickly save the game and let's get on with the game against Yeovil. Hopefully we'll get a better result. Uh, we've got 4,800 people turning up um, as Yeovil fucking score. What has happened to the team? What has happened to Gateshead? We need to get on with it. Thompson misses it and... Uh, oh, God. Hits the post. There's not much more we can do from that. Come on, boys. We're better than this. We need to try to get... Oh, for fuck's sake. They've got another attack. Completely wide open. Changing defence is not helping the situation at all. As we whip one in, Hill can't put one in. We need to score a bloody goal. Otherwise, we're not going to get into these playoff positions, which I kind of want, because it'll make the board be happy, really. Um, I d I'm not even planning on massively going up next season, but we'll see what happens. Um, we're going to say, for fuck's sake, is that 2-0? Disallowed. Thank God for that, right? That is a let-off, boys. That is a huge let-off. We need to take that and, oh my God, this is, this is going horrendously wrong, this episode. Um... We'll do a double substitution. Uh, Greenfield could come on as well. <sighs> Fuck me. Don't become a football manager. Um, nerd. Never works for the for the health. Um, we'll bring on Cavallo. Put Cavallo on the wing. And then have them two bad boys up top. As a partnership. Because Thompson's been playing well this season. So we could do with him grabbing a goal late in this in this game. It's been a penalty. I'm not sure who actually takes the penalty for us. Reagan apparently has got it. He's not I don't think he's even on the penalty list. Yes, he manages to score it. He gets his first goal for the club. Thank God for that. Something's come good of it. And uh, it's one one in a game which really we should be winning, but we'll see where we are at the end of this game as it comes to a close. Thank God we actually drew. Uh, but that puts us sixth, uh, seventh. Sorry, so we were at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the playoff spots. Scunthorpe are below us actually, uh, but that's put Yeovil above us. Some oh, they've got way more goal difference. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll probably take you to right to the end of the season because I might as well, and we'll see where we are at the end of that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.